Hello, hello. My name is Glenn Syria, and welcome to Glenn Syria Loving Hands, where I show you how I make my handmade artisan soaps and luxurious skincare treats. How is everyone doing today? I hope you are doing great. Before we get into this video, let me just say to my old subscribers, thank you so much for holding me down. I truly appreciate you. And to my new subscribers, welcome, welcome to Glenseria Loving Hands family. We appreciate you as well. Now, come on, let's get into this video. We are continuing making our in beds for our all natural bath bombs, which is coming up real soon. So let's get these in beds going again. And come on, let's get into this video. Hello, hello, my love. So we are back once again, right? Once again, we are back, which is great. How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing good. Okay, so we are continuing our bath bomb series. But what we're doing now is we are, first of all, let me get some gloves on. We are continuing making our, our embeds to go into the bath bomb. What is an embed? An embed is a concentrated bath bomb that has the colorant in it, the colors that disperse throughout your water in your bath bombs. It's like a special surprise. Some people add the colors, some people don't. In here, I have one cup of baking soda and you need one cup of citrate acid one cup of citrate acid okay or one cup um i'm going to put it in and separate it this time because i want to separate the colors i want it's too much to make one color so let's make a couple of colors with this mixture so it's one cup baking soda i'm mixing it together today and one cup of citrate acid because i want to break i want to separate this so we can make more than one color we don't need all this to make our embeds it's okay let's take out that's a half a cup i'll put that half a cup there okay and i got mm, a little bit more than a half a cup here and then i'll leave the rest there what I have on my parchment paper, I shall put back in the measuring bowl. All right, so let's get this out the way. Let's bring our larger one in. So the color we are going to do today, let's do red. Okay, so here we have bath bomb red powder. 40. So that's going to give us our color red. All right. Now, I don't know why I left the stick in there, but the stick is in there full of stuff. I'm not going to use that. Here is a quarter, one fourth teaspoon. So. That looks like that's gonna be plenty of color. So let's see. One fourth teaspoon. Oh yeah, that's plenty of color. How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is great. I have to make sure that I give you the quote of today. Make sure I stay on track. What's up, Wednesday? What's up, Wednesday? We're going to get a new theme in here. What's up, Wednesday? So what's up? Comment down below and tell me what's going on with you. Okay? We're going to start doing what's up, Wednesday. You see what the red looks like without putting in any of the rubbing alcohol before it's wet. Okay, so that's what it looks like. All right. Now.
Did y'all enjoy my videos? For the blue and best? If not, I'll put the video right up there so you can see the video. All right, so we have spray bottle with rubbing alcohol. We're gonna give it a few sprays, like so. Mix it around in there. Make sure you have your gloves on. Okay. And remember, we're trying to get it where it sticks together, like wet sand, but you can mold it into something. Not quite, but it's almost there. A few more sprays. There you go. And that's it. So now what we're going to do, we have our half a teaspoon measuring spoon and we have our one teaspoon measuring spoon. I'm gonna bring my parchment paper in because I wanna make some more of this one. And I'm gonna show you why when we're getting ready to make our bath bomb. So I take the half, you run it. Can you see that? Let's bring it in front of you, all right? So what you do is fill it from the bottom and go up along the wall of your measuring bowl. And I always just press down on mine, but all you do is just hit it down and it comes right out. See that? So let me move this over to the side. Get these things out your way so you can see. So I slide it down. If it doesn't fill it because there's not that much in it, I just press down it on my finger to myself and then you just hit it down. Like so, see that? Maybe I shouldn't, cause there you go. Let it come down the side of the wall itself and then hit it down. There you go. Whichever way you like to do it. Whichever floats your boat. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Uh-oh. Now I don't want to come out. Okay. I wonder why. Too wet? Maybe. Maybe I'm packing it too tight, you know? Maybe they don't want to be that tight. And I can understand that. There you go. So are you excited that we will be making bath bombs soon? I know you are. What's up? What's up? I'm excited. Tell me some of the scents that you would like for me to make. Comment down below and tell me some of the scents that you want me to make. Would you like for me to make lavender? How about eucalyptus rosemary, my mother earth? I'm just patting this in lightly. Apparently it must be too wet. So it's giving me a hard time of coming out. Let's try the large one. Let's see. There we go. Let me give you the quote of today. Fun is contagious. That's true. If you see somebody having fun, you want to have fun too. It's contagious. Like laughter, right? They say laughter is contagious. There you go. So this is the one teaspoon. This is the one teaspoon. See that? We are going to make some bath bombs. Oh, yes, indeed. We are going to make some bath bombs. How about lemongrass? What else can we do? We can do something that's a, a fragrant oil, like sweet, uh, juicy pear, something like that. I have that Fruit Loops, you know. Up, oh. that one broke up, so let's put that back in. There we go. 
There we go. Fun is contagious. I believe that. What's up, Wednesday? Comment down below. Tell me what's up. So what's up with me? What's up? Maybe give you a fun fact about me. Since it's what's up. What's up, Glenseria loving hands? What's up? Okay, well, let me see. What's up? I am a crybaby. That's what's up. I love those romantic movies that make you want to cry. I'll be up there boo-hooing. Yeah, that's what's up. It's okay to cry and show your emotions. It's a good thing. All right. Still patting it down, as you can see. Okay. There we go. So I like the other ones too much. The blue's too many. I don't need that many blue. I'd rather have different colors, you know? All right. I want to fill this cavity. See if I can finish filling this. So we'll have some here. And then we'll come back and do another color. I'll probably do them off camera. So how about next video, we'll make some bath bombs. All right, well, at least we'll start to make some, okay? Remember, I'm gonna give you the ingredients again. So what you need, baking soda, baking powder. What else we going to use? I have a list here. As soon as I get finished with this, I'm gonna let you know. Let me put this over right here. Cause there's a list somewhere here. Okay, that's my, where is it? List, where are you? There you go. Epsom salt, cornstarch. These are the things we need. Sea salt, essential oil, alcohol, whisk, large mixing bowl, bath bomb molds, or any type of mold you would like to use. And that's about it, I think. Castor oil, citric acid, I will be putting some cocoa butter in mine because that's what I do, only the best. Only the best. I love making moisturizing bath bombs. I don't want anything to dry you out. I'm trying to keep the oils in you, not dry you out. All right, see that? And then I'll come back with another one. Let's see, I can get one more or two more scoops, probably two more. All right, right here. See if I can get a few more with a half a teaspoon. Bring you right back. All right, red is done. We have our red in beds here. So blue is done, red is done. We'll do a few more colors and then we'll get to our bath bombs. I'll probably do them off camera, quiet with music, and then we'll get to bath bombs, all right? Love you guys, Mwah. have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.